If we go back around 6,000 years or more to the South Asian subcontinent, there were two distinct races that started to mix with each other. It was a group called the Iranian Neolithic and a group called the South Asian hunter-gatherers. They probably started mixing around the 5th to 4th millennium BC in the northwest area of the subcontinent. This is where the Indus Valley civilization would eventually begin. The exact origin of the Iran Neolithic people is unknown, but in my view they were probably from the Caucasus region and were of Caucasoid stock. Studies have shown that they were related to groups found in this region in Neolithic times. But what language did they speak? Did they have a religion? What was their culture? This remains a mystery. And then you have the South Asian hunter-gatherers. It's not known where they come from or originate from, but they seem to be some of the first people on the land. They're also distantly related to the Melanesians and the Andamese people of the Andamese Islands. Now, when these two groups mixed, they formed the population of the Indus Valley, which became urbanized from 3300 BC onwards. But this civilization itself is quite mysterious. It's not clear what language was spoken there. It's not clear who the actual architects were or how such a technologically advanced culture seemingly sprung up out of nowhere. There might also be some suggestive evidence that there was a caste system even at this stage in the Indus Valley. Certain skeletal DNA evidence might point to racial stratification being practiced in the Indus Valley. This is an interesting but unproven point. Eventually in the first or second millennium BC, the civilization started to decay. This could have been due to climate change or loss of fertile land or something else. It's most likely after this that the Aryans came into the picture. The Aryans came into the subcontinent from Central Asia and then possibly assimilated into a caste system that was already in place. This caused more shifting of populations and new admixtures to form. Either way, all these cultures blended together to form Hinduism. But how this gave rise to a spiritual tradition of self-discovery is another matter altogether. One thing is clear, there are no pure races left in the subcontinent. There are no pure hunter-gatherers or Iran Neolithic or pure Aryans. Everyone is now a composite of these races to varying degrees. So a deeper question is why is there such an interest in race in the subcontinent in particular? My feeling is that it stems from historic racial stratification and hierarchies, which might have happened for millennia. In my view, this is symbolic of the suppression of the indigenous feminine people of the land, which was later institutionalized by the caste system. It's a sign of patriarchy. To me, the key to healing these wounds that are ancient and persist till this day would be to learn to respect and honor the indigenous component of the Asian subcontinent, even in oneself, something that today's culture is yet to fully embrace.